Healthcare, immigration, gun control. You just heard a few minutes ago from many of the candidates who participated in last night's Democratic debate where they stand on those issues. Now, our question as we look deeper into this, did it work? Will it give them more traction among voters as we head into next year's election? News for Jack's political analyst and director of public policy at Jacksonville University, Rick Mullaney, joins us tonight. First of all, I asked this question of Karen Capa, who was in Houston watching last night. I'd like to ask the same of you. Any surprises for you last night? Um, Beto O'Rourke. Uh, he came out strong, particularly in, in the control. first debate. He looked like a deer in the headlights. Last night, he was comfortable in his own skin. Amy Klobuchar, actually, she's somewhat mechanical in her delivery. Last night, animated and very prepared. And also, I thought you had a. This is consistent. It wasn't a surprise. Cory Booker had a very good night. So some of those second tier candidates did have a very very good night in terms of. But overall, I thought it was a quality discussion. Uh, elevated discussion, but those were probably some surprises. I don't think there was a breakout moment. Yeah. Moment. I don't think this changes the trajectory of the race. So uh, there was a lot of talk certainly going into last night about Joe Biden and Elizabeth Warren sharing the stage together. Yes. <sighs> Joe Biden still on top? Did Elizabeth Warren, you know, win more, you know, among that base that she's trying to fuel because she's really kind of chasing behind Joe Biden? I thought it was a pretty good night for Joe Biden mm. for a couple reasons. Number one, I thought he fairly much dominated the first hour of the debate. The health care debate, in my opinion, is the single most important discussion in the Democratic Party debate right now. Number one, because it has the greatest ideological divide and there was the greatest differences among the candidates. And number two, it's the most consequential for the general election. And Joe Biden took on Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren on health care and came out really doing very, very well. Later in the debate, he struggled some, as he often does, on some of those issues. But overall, it was a pretty good night for him. And when you're in the lead and you break even, that's a good night for you if it's status quo. Elizabeth Warren is consistent, she's smart, she's got the plan. She had an overall okay night, somewhat invisible at times, but her personality is that she did not take on Joe Biden, and other than the health care differences, they really did not clash that much last night. You know, uh, compared to the previous debates, it's interesting, we heard more mention of Barack Obama. Uh, is this recognizing the fact that among the base that he is still very popular? and that maybe this is a way of, again, trying to unite the party and bring people back central. I mean, I know that Joe Biden was talking specifically about Obamacare. He really feels that it works. Julian Castro, though, really kind of attacked him on that. If health care is so important, is it good to go towards Obamacare or away from it, based on what we heard last night? Well, two pieces. Let me answer the first part of your question. The answer is yes. It is good in a Democratic debate to embrace Barack Obama. Uh, Joe Biden had the advantage embracing him in debate number two. The rest of the field last night, it was a good night for Barack Obama. And on health care issue, again, I think Joe Biden gets the better of it. I do believe the Democratic Party, particularly Warren and Sanders on this issue, are playing with fire in the general election. The de health care discussion is one that is advantage Democrat, in my opinion, and that's why in the midterms they were successful. However, the do away with private insurance and cost issue for the plans advocated by Warren and Sanders are very problematic in the general election. The Biden position, and he was joined by A.B. Klobuchar and Pete Buttigieg on this, on this issue, I think they had the better of it. Embracing that Obamacare plus the public option in the Democratic debate, I thought was the stronger position. Good night for Biden on those issues. Winner Joe Biden last night? I believe so. Rick Mullaney. Joining us, thank you, Rick. Appreciate it.